Question 1. The distribution of mathematics final examination grades of 35 year 11 pupils in a class has been recorded in the pie chart below. What proportion of students in the class achieved a level 8 or level 9 in their final mathematics examinations? Give your answer as a percentage rounded to two decimal places. From the graph, we can see that three pupils achieved a level 8 or 9 out of a total of 35, which gives us our proportion. If we calculate that, we see that that is 0 0.08 57142 and then it continues from that. We need that as a percentage, so to do that we need to multiply by 100, getting us 8.57142. The question asks for two decimal places, so we will round that there to 8.57, rounding down because this place is lower than 5. So our answer is 8.57%. Question 2. A student decides to raise money for charity by selling homemade lemonade on three weekends. The number of lemonade sales the student made each week are recorded in the bar chart below. What percentage of the total lemonade sales were made in week 2? To calculate the percentage, we first need the number of sales in week 2. The number of sales in week 2 divided by the total number of sales. So the number of sales in week 2, that's 18. And the total, we need to add up the total of each three bars. That's 10 plus 18 plus 12. That leaves us with 18 divided by 40. If we calculate that, we get 0 0.45, and to make it into a percentage, we need to multiply by 100. So that would be 45%. Question 3. 40 A-level students in a class sit a mock test to test their ability in the subject. 10 students decide to drop the subject after the first year. The 30 remaining students sit exactly the same test the following year. What is the percentage point improvement in the number of A grades from year 1 to year 2? So, instead of working out percentage increase here, we're just working out the percentage point improvement. That's the difference in the proportion from year 1 to year 2. So simply, we need to take the year 2 proportion, 30%, and take away 15%, giving our answer 15%. Question 4. Question 4. 40 A-level students in a class sit a mock test to test their ability in the subject. 10 students decide to drop the subject after the first year. The 30 remaining students sit the same test the following year. What is the percentage increase in the number of students who achieved an A grade from year 1 to year 2? To do this, first we need to find 15% of the year 1 students. 15% of 40 is the same as multiplying by 0.15, which is 6. Let's do the same for year 2. 30% of the year 2 students achieved grade A, so that's 30% of 30, which is 0 0.30 times 30, which equals 9. Finally, we need to find the percentage change. That's 9 minus 6 divided by 6. The new value take away the original value, divided by the original value. This gives us 0.5. Finally, we need this as a percentage. That's 0.5 times 100 equals 50%. Question 5. A manufacturing company produces metal fixings for a DIY retailer. On one day, the manufacturer produces 23,040 fixings, of which 1,920 are faulty. What fraction of the fixings produced on this day were defective? Give your answer in its lowest terms. First, let's set up the fraction. That's 1,920 divided by the total, 23,040. We need to give this answer in its lowest terms, so we need to start dividing 
both parts of the fraction by the same number to cancel it down. I notice that both of these divide by 10, so I can divide the top by 10 and the bottom by 10. Next, let's do some more cancelling. We can divide both by 2 to get 96 over 1152. Again, to get 48 over 576. And again, to get 24 over 288. At this point, I notice that both actually divide by 4. So we can divide 24 by 4, that's 6, and 288 by 4, that's 72. Finally, our last cancellation, both of these numbers divide by 6 to get 1 over 12. That's our final answer. Question 6. The final grades achieved by 80 year 11 pupils in their summer biology and chemistry examinations have been recorded in the chart below. What fraction of the students achieved a level 5 in biology? Give your answer in its lowest terms. From the chart we can see that the total number of students is 80, and we're told that in the question too. So the bottom of our fraction will be 80. We need to find biology students who achieved a level 5. So we looked at level 5, and then we need to look at the total of all these four here. That's 80, giving us a fraction 80 over 80. We need to give our answer in its lowest terms, so let's divide the top and bottom by 2 to cancel. And that's our answer, 9 over 40. Question 7. The final grades achieved by 80 year 11 pupils in their summer biology and chemistry examinations have been recorded in the chart below. What fraction of the students had biology and chemistry grades that were no more than one level apart from each other? Give your answer in its lowest terms. So we're looking for grades such as this one here, 6 in the biology and 5 in the chemistry. They're no more than one apart. The blue areas indicate that they're one grade apart, and the green areas indicate that they are the same grade. So we need to total up the blue area, the green area, and the second blue area. So the first blue area is 18 students, the green area is 29 students, and the second blue area is 15 students giving us a total of 62 students whose grades were no more than one level apart from each other. We need this as a proportion of the total, so we need to do 62 divided by the total, which is 80. Finally, we can divide by 2 to cancel that, and that gives us 31 over 40. Question 8. The students in a business studies class are entered for either the foundation or higher tier examination. The breakdown of students entered for foundation and higher is displayed in the bar chart below. What is the ratio of males to females in the class? Simplify your answer as far as possible. First we need the total number of males and the total number of females in the class. So that's 13 males plus 12 males, which is 25 males. Same for females. We have 9 plus 6, which is 15. Finally, let's form the ratio. We want males to females, that's 25 to 15. We can simplify this ratio by dividing both parts by 5. So 25 divided by 5 is 5, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. In the same way as simplifying a fraction. So our answer is 5 to 3. Question 9. The number of car bike and van sales a car dealership makes is recorded over a three week period. The results are displayed in the bar chart below. What is the ratio of the number of car sales to the number of bike sales in total? Simplify your answer as far as possible. So let's find the total of the car sales. That's 10 plus 12 plus 18, which is a total of 40. Let's do the same now for the bikes. So the bikes are 5 plus 8 plus 12, which is 25. We'll form the ratio. That's cars to bikes, which is 40 to 25. And now we need to simplify. Both of these can be divided by 5, so let's have 8 to 5 as our final answer. Question 10. A couple are doing their weekly fruit shop for their family. In their basket they have apples, oranges and bananas. There are 8 apples in the basket in total. 
If the ratio of apples in the basket to oranges in the basket is 2 to 3, and the ratio of oranges in the basket to bananas in the basket is 4 to 5, how many bananas are in the basket? This seems a little complicated at first, but let's just take it in parts. The ratio of apples to oranges is 2 to 3. So we're going to write down apples to oranges is 2 to 3. We know there are 8 apples in the basket. So this ratio has been multiplied by 4. So we need to do the same to the other side to keep it equivalent. So 3 times 4, there must be 12 oranges in the basket. Let's do the same thing but for bananas. So oranges to bananas is 4 to 5. And we know that there are 12 oranges in the basket. We've multiplied the ratio by 3. So we must do the same to the other side, which makes 15 bananas in the basket.